has been triggered. Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. In the last episode we caught up on the side story, so now it's time to continue the MSQ. We must locate some doomsday tech around the world, plus we've got some we can research. How much can I research? Let's see, 50 points there, let's get going on that. And can we do any for here? Yup, 30 points for that. At the data banks, let's get those turned on. Turn off the centrifuges, because I like micromanaging. Okay, so that only leaves us with 20 points that we need. So, that's one submarine jaunt. Um, yeah, let's go here. Yeah, 20 points, exactly. Ooh, science. Uh, where is my science? Uh, there it is. Yeah, we'll cancel this mission and move the science sub over here. We'll have that in no time. Whoa, yeah, like I said. Oh yeah, and just as a reminder, because <laughs> I had forgotten, the reason we're locating the Doomsday Tech is because Jaws is not going to help us like we want us to. They're hiding zero, which will, I guess, make the Earth into an ice ball. So we're going to find it ourselves, then we're going to resurrect it, because that's what we do. We found it, and our efforts have turned up Zero's location in the most remote corner of the world. But that won't stop us. It never will. We've got to wait a moment, because we also need the muscle submarine, and that is currently occupied. I'm thinking about getting rid of the worker submarines. And just having two copies each of the three specialist submarines, and then use the Nautilus as the wild card. I think that might be better in the long run, but I'll I probably need at least one worker submarine. So Yeah, that's what I'll probably do. I'll have I'll move the worker submarine next to the Nautilus. Those two will be my wild cards, and then I'll have two each of the other submarines, so I always have a second one ready to go. Anyway, uh, we still need to get that going. Um, this is an interesting spot this is in, too, in the world map. Isn't that roughly... I mean, not literally right here, but, like, somewhere in the South Pacific is where it's the farthest point from any landmass on Earth. I kept meaning to find that spot on a world map. I find that interesting. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do muscle submarine. That is clearly not the muscle icon. How strange. All right, where is my muscle submarine? Oh, there still. Um, go ahead and cancel that. And then we'll execute the mission or not. <laughs> Guess we've got to hold off for a moment anyway, because the Muscle submarine is apparently damaged. Uh, no, it's just not here. At Sink the Bismarck, where is that? Oh, it's here! Okay. Yeah, I just need to get two of each. Um, hmm. trap has been triggered. Yeah, I can, I can probably futz with this and make it happen. And you know, especially now that Deep Six is on my side, there's really no reason to have the submarines out at the moment. So let's just withdraw all of them for the moment. Just to get them back into my lair so I can do a little bit of management. Yeah, okay. And it's also going to cost quite a lot of tech to get all of that, too. We're not quite in a position where I can just build them all and be done with it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it costs 40 tech a submarine. I mean, not counting the workers. Ugh. Well, that's definitely something to think about for future runs. I suppose it doesn't overly matter in the macro... All right, I'm going to delete one of my worker submarines because I want to see if I get it back. 
Selling this will cancel any assigned world map action. Any minions who have already boarded will be lost. That's fine. So do I get it back? I saw that the counter at the bottom didn't increase. But I want to see it destroyed before I'm 100% sure. Okay. So now, if we go to items... Yeah, it's just gone. Alright, so I have to make sure I move them first. Okay. Um... Well, so we're going to put the Nautilus here, and then one worker submarine here. Yep, I can barely cram it in. So how is my space heaters? Yeah, the space heaters are not going to be able to do enough. Okay, so let's just sell those off. We'll get a furnace instead. Uh, sure? Yeah, that's actually fine, because we can convert it to medium once it's built. We don't have to leave it super hot. Um, so then this one can be sold or deleted, whatever. And I'm going to send our girl... You know what, I'm going to suspend... No, how, wait, how many, how many engineers do I have? Ten, okay. So we're going to send our girl up top, and she is going to go here and flag this to be used as a priority. That way we can generate tech a little faster. Um, actually, I guess put her here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there they go. All right, they're already on it. So... I mean, since there's only four tech generators and ten engineers, you would think that would also mean more of them are going to get on that, but maybe not. Oh, and multiple guys can be on the this, the Ruins of Atlantis. That's awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so really I'm calling for eight engineers to work on tech generation. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. This'll, this'll work for now. I just can't do too many submarine missions, but I'm not really concerned about it. All I've been doing for the missions, I would say a good 90% of the missions, all I have been doing is working on the heat killing missions just to make sure Jaws doesn't attack me. But who gives a shit? And oh, speaking speak of the devils. So I've got this hallway now flagged as a kill zone. So this probably isn't gonna work out very well for them. Um oh god, it's still that hot of temperature over here. Salaries paid. Holy crap. Um All right, but they are comfortable with this temperature, probably because it's only chilly. And also, yeah, oh God, there they go. Now it's popping off. See, the problem with flagging this hallway for death is what you just, oh, I know the right middle ground. The reason I flagged this as death is because I think it was Symmetry's group, maybe, who got this far, and then they put on disguises. No, it was, it was someone else. They, they put on disguises or something, and they passed through the kill box, so they got a little deeper in the base. But now doing that, I think that fixes it. Oh my god, there's so much crap all over the place that I didn't notice. Um, by flagging these side hallways also as kill zones, I think that fixes it, because now... Even if they manage to pass through this little has been corner before they get flagged, they will be flagged eventually. All right. So, and then this, all I'm doing here is just doing tech cleanup. There's nothing more I need to do. Oh, good. This is a good test since I guess Jaws still has some people. So they should... Oh, news. well, hold on a second. Bad news. The good news is you're now the proud owner of the Forbidden Project Zero. Hell yeah. Excellent. 
with this weapon, the impossible has become downright manageable. What is the bad news? Joss is not happy you took it. They're on their way here. Whatever, we have deep sex. Who gives a shit? That is not bad news at all. Now I can finally show Jaws exactly how far I'll go to save the planet. Interesting that if you play your cards right, you can just eliminate Deep Six entirely before this even becomes a question. A yeah, this is a lot better. Yeah, the, the kill box definitely works. I mean, granted, it's going to get a little hinky for my turrets, but, you know, that's what we... Ah, shit, now I have to craft another one. Crap. Um, hmm. Maybe I should play it safe and not put a turret over here. I could put, like, the shooty pew turrets here and here. Provided they can pass through them, or between them. Oh well, the two rocket turrets should be good enough. And we can always craft another one if we need to. Anyway, so we need to defeat Jaws agents in the lair. That was five right there. So I'm sure more will be he here soon. How is that not? Wow. It just surprises me that this one furnace can't counteract the cold from there. Anyway. But yeah, I think w we've got this pretty well in hand. Um, so the oceans are irrelevant for the moment. At least until I get things a little organized. Now that does put me in a minor disadvantage because having the subs out... It really makes a big impact on how fast I can make minions if the subs are doing an actual mission. But until we get some more built, I'm kind of okay with this. I mean, I might send them out, but I don't need to send them out to every area. Actually, I could even save myself a little sanity and shut down two of those global networks. Your glorious path has found a new way forward. Zero. Zero, an energy amplifier. Combined with my tech, I can crank the global thermostat down as low as I like. It could be the most fearsome machine in the planet when it's done. What do you mean? It's not done? <laughs> Zero is in your hands, and it's the key to global salvation. All you need to do now is figure out how it works. But surely that'll be no problem for a genius like you. Disassemble your cold generator. It's a shame to throw away all that work, but it's for a loftier purpose. My cold generator? Oh, my little prototype thingy? Um... Complete crafting project. Disassemble. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. I, I was one, I was arguing with myself whether I should wait until I've got all the tech for more submarines or not, but... Oh man, if I had thought ahead, I wouldn't have disassembled those submarines I had that quick. But it, it doesn't matter. I mean, having five submarines is more than enough, especially because I'm not taking advantage of the ocean biomes right now, so who gives a crap? Um... Okay, so... Favors the cold. I guess... Stay where you are, Polar, because we still want tech. Even if tech is prioritized over working on the drawing boards, they will be worked on. As you can see there. And the percentage is going up pretty quickly, so this is fine. We can just keep doing this for a while. Um... As long as I don't have any more side stories that got unlocked. Nope. So, yeah, we'll check back in once that research is done. And I guess now that we have a little extra cash in our pockets, let's bump the engineer count to 20. That's not... Oh, no. I was like, wait a minute. They are super cheap. They shouldn't be that cheap. There we go. Oh, the current amount was 15. 
or was 10 and now it's, mm, yeah, let's put it to 20 for now. It's a lot of money, but we can afford it. And as long as we keep some money missions going on the world stage, we'll be all right. Okay, so you guys got that done. I guess resume the light bubbler turret or not. I mean, I'm not even really researching anything else here. And I really want more submarines, so never mind. Go ahead and just keep doing what you're doing. Complete research project column A, column B. Take the components of your cold generator and integrate them directly into zero. Wait, does this mean zero is in the lab? I mean the layer? Hold on. Nope, if it is, it's not here yet. Okay. So, research project rather than crafting project. Gotcha. Zero stage three. That was a quick research. The new and improved zero needs a suitable place in your chamber. Have your minions dig out a cavern to store it. Now we're getting there. Okay, so the lowest point is here. Yeah, rather than making some weird convoluted path, we'll just create a hallway that feeds directly into the power room. And I'm still getting blinkies down here. Oh, that's why. Okay, uh... Cool. Um. Oh, because of the work of us. <laughs> I was like, why was there so much fire? Um. I mean, there should always be more fire. You really should craft another turret. We've been working around the clock. At last, construction on zero is complete. It's done? Then why have I not fired it yet? Well, you see. It still needs fuel, ma'am. Apparently, it runs on pearls. The processed silicate. It is always something with you people. Fine. <laughs> Get me pearls before I find another use for my trigger finger. Holy shit. Damn, Polar. Calm down. All right, defeat Jaws agents in the lair. Wait, what does that have to do with getting pearls? Jaws has sent its very best to take Zero back. Defeat them while you get your new weapon up on its feet. I mean, again, what are they going to do? Bleed on me to death? I mean, shit, man. Alright, here. Craft me another this. Cra yeah, cra craft me another this. And then we'll stick that here. And again, yes. D I can already hear some of the comments, which makes no sense because it's text, but I can already hear some people, like, advising me to use not explosives and just do something that lessens the chance that there's going to be breakage in the base. But here's the thing, and, and I, I don't think you can find a counter argument to this. Why would I waste my time not building a rocket launcher when I could be spending my time building a rocket launcher? I, I know, I'm a genius. It, it comes with doing YouTube for 11 years. There we go. Once gathered from the world stage, your minions must deliver fuel to your doomsday device. Okay. Ooh, nifty. Pretty. Um, all right. So available fuel zero. I assume it's going to use five maximum for now. Zero operates on two principles. First that even a single particle at absolute zero is cold to the touch, and second, that anything touching that particle will be cooled rapidly. All right, so we just need to collect some fuel. Um, lots of schemes are now open on the world stage. Oh, uh, let me guess, I have to go underwater to get the fuel. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's kill the heat there. Well, good thing I didn't completely demolish my submarine brigade. Um, all right. Shit. I don't have enough workers? Oh, no. Oh, this is going to take a hot minute to fix. I guess if I had had better reading comprehension, I would have figured out that... Since I am getting ten pearls, probably the maximum amount I can hold right now is ten. Amazing how that flippin' works, isn't it? Oh, hey, look, I have 40 tech. All right, um... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which submarine I go for first, but I need a deception submarine 
that I do not have, so we'll get that first. A lot of minions are being sent through the submarines right now, so I've really got to stay on top of it. That's the... That's one of the things with the submarines. They require so many minions to run that you just con- or at least I am constantly running out of minions. So I need to really be on top of that with the numbers. Luckily, they don't cost- that's the deception, right? Yep. Um, luckily, they don't- they don't- it doesn't cost that much to hire new ones. Oh, here we go. A small fire. You know what? I have a better idea since I just blew up another turret. Um, make that two turrets. Um, An item has been destroyed. Yeah, it has. Um, I'm going to move a couple things around here. Should I do the speed up music? Probably been doing the speed up music too much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shift the training room a little to the right. I'm gonna move the Prometheus hand over here. Torch, whatever. How big is this thing? Oh, I can just put it here. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, let, well, no, cause then it's kinda in the way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a second to think on this. This alteration, first of all, the speed-up music was not... Yeah, the speed-up music would have been wasted. This alteration may cause more problems than good, especially because... I mean, alright, this is flipped the wrong way, because I am anal. Um... It's like, as soon as anyone walks in here, they're immediately going to get torched, which may not be <laughs> the best use of my time. However, I'm more thinking ahead to Olga, because her cronies always come in here through into this room. So... And you know tourists are going to walk into it, which is going to be a problem. I guess I'll just have to keep my, keep an eye on it. I mean, I guess this door could burn, but that'd be the only thing I could think of that could really have a problem. So that gives me a little added security on that side. So meanwhile, I need to fix this and uh, redo my turrets over here. You know, another good reason not to worry about building all the submarines at once is because like now I have a lot of downtime. Especially when working with those side stories, so eventually... I mean, it's going to come to the point where I'm doing nothing and just idly gaining enough tech to build some submarines. I only need 80 total. It's not going to take too long. Alright, so we've got that going on. Um, and I've given the order for one more... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is taking a bit longer than the Prometheus fire trap, but it takes... It's a lot safer. Yeah, the turret was barely touched. This one wasn't touched. Yeah, so that works out. We'll just keep them like that. Um, can I build another one yet? I forget how much a turret costs. 23 tech? What a specific number, and exactly how much I had. Test fire the zero. Oh boy, here we go with this. So, where are you? We have work to do. Mm. Tempted to move the portal there so it's a little quicker to get up and down, but it's probably a bit overkill. And even though there is no kill like overkill, there is an efficiency. A pyro does not like inefficiency. Okay. Firing a stream of absolute zero particles should create a freezing gas cloud, keeping a region frozen for a short time. So what is the downside? Are my people going to be all frozen and shit? Wait, can I target the this? 
I can totally target the that. All right, let's do it. Let's freeze the ocean. And uh, as the one commenter mentioned the last time, I shouldn't jump over the animations because they're pretty cool. So at least for this first one, we'll play out the animation of Zero's test fire. Even though it's going to be basically 30 seconds of dead air. But I've managed to talk through 27 seconds of it, 23 seconds of it. Because I've got the gift of gab. All right, let's, let's do this. That thing is terrifying. You have a functional doomsday device. Soon the whole world will shiver at the power of zero. I'm gonna collect that in a second because I want to see what kind of goddamn mess is happening here. Huh, yeah, a bunch of our minions got frozen. I mean, whatever. Oh, and everyone's now a little colder. Well, you know what? If you didn't want to be cold, you would have put on thermal underwear. I don't know. Oh my god. That glacier is the size of of South Africa. Um Yeah, that was probably fine. Do I get some special whatever? No, that's just a random mission. Okay, well, let's collect our prize for that one. Oh yeah, let's clear this me mess. Okay. Uh prize, give me prize. I don't like disturbing those poor oysters for my fuel, but now that Zero works, they will thank me later. Sure. Quite. I'm pleased to report that early results have been encouraging beyond our wildest dreams. There were some odd readings in its energy signature during its activation, but it's uh, likely nothing. As long as it works, humanity owes Mother Earth an impossible debt. And no matter what, you will pay it. Hell yeah. Don't worry about the side effects, as long as the cure works. The world is at ease for now. Yeah. Take advantage of this momentary calm to expand your criminal organization. Steal loot, recruit henchmen, hire more mindless flunkies. And above it all, take some time for yourself. You've earned it. Progressing beyond this point may result in lost side story opportunities. Well, here's a fuck ton more of these. Uh, let me just click through all these to clear the notification dealy dos Oh god. Oh god, so many things. So many things. Um... Oops. So... I mean, as always, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Uh, holy tits. Okay. Outback Stakeout. The Sydney Steaks and Snags Barbie Bashes Anvil's premier eating competition. This year it boasts a mysterious, unprecedented prize. Should be easy pickings for a genius like you. Side story. Begun. The Steaks and Snags Barbie Bash is boasting its biggest prize ever. Ahead of the festivities, send your minions to a land Let down under and steal it. Sounds... We'll go with easy. So one thing that the event log needs is the ability to see where an item was destroyed, because Iris told me that an item was indeed destroyed, but there is nothing in the event log to tell me where that is. Not helpful. Especially when I have this much stuff, I have no idea where or what could have been destroyed. I am a great mastermind who has made nations tremble, and my minions have been outwitted by a barbecue contest. I know you sound upset, Polar, but think about your whole MO. It's because you're a freezy expert, not a not a barbecue expert. If if the contest had been getting a delicious Dairy Queen blizzard, I'm sure you would have figured things out pretty quickly. We searched the grounds of the contest venue, but we didn't see any valuables, just ribs. So many ribs. <laughs> they must be onto me, but I will not let them keep this from me. If I cannot steal their prize, I shall win it. What? Wow, really? 
that the winner routinely has to eat over 30 pounds of barbecue. Oh, you must have a serious appetite. Don't call her fat, you'll die. Did I say I? <laughs> what I meant to say was you. Good call, you Boar. You will win this prize for me. Okay. Well, we're going to do that in the next episode because I'm out of time for this one. Oh, there's the item that was destroyed. One of my laser grids. I'm su surprised I didn't get rebuilt. I thought I had them all flagged to be rebuilt. But I apparently did not. Okay, well, whatever. Now that's fixed. Anyway, that's all that I have time for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.